I guess this is gonna, this will be okay. I wanted to talk about my fear of the sun. Cause it's been over a year since I've been really just kind of hiding, hibernating for the past year and a half. And I talked about it a little bit yesterday, how I even got into skincare in the first place, which was out of fear, which isn't that surprising. Fear mongering is a lucrative business, but I started really realizing how damaging the sun can be to your eyes, to your skin, and started wearing sunscreen religiously. This was November 2018, fast forward a few months, that's when the pandemic started and I thought that the silver lining of wearing masks was that it provided sun protection and allowed me to still go outside. I've always really liked being outdoors. So I was like wearing my mask and I was like, oh, I can go outside and wear my mask and not have to worry about the sun because of my mask. And then mask knee happened and I had those two really big breakouts, which the breakouts aren't the problem. It's the dark marks that they leave, which I have one now from a breakout. And those persist on me and stay for like many months. And that's why I really try to avoid breakouts at all costs and have taken extreme measures to do that. But at the same time, I've taken extreme measures to avoid the sun. So I was like wearing my mask, even when, you know, I was outdoors without anyone around me because it became socially acceptable to wear a mask everywhere. And uh, then I realized that that wasn't gonna work for me. So then I just kind of locked myself up in my house for like many months. Most days I would have the the curtains drawn shut. I was so afraid of the sun. I drew my blinds shut every day. I just like s sat in the darkness. I moved my whole like work from home office set up to the darkest room in my place with no windows. <laughs> and I started getting paranoid about blue light as well. And so I was like minimizing the amount of light that I was shining and things just started kind of taking a turn for the worst. What started as something that was supposed to be like self care turned into something that was really like restrictive and enabling of my reclusiveness. And um, I'm trying to get over that now, which is still a struggle. I still like, feel I want to just like find shade and just like hide in the shade. This is really pretty, whatever this plant is. For all of the botanists out there, let me know if you know. This is a very underrated spot. I know people are probably like, where the hell are you? I don't want to talk about it. It's just a matter of time before people find about this quaint little spot, I'm sure. I think there was a news article about it. But um, yeah, I'm slowly trying to break out of my shawl. I used to love being outdoors, and so it's nice to do that again. I, of course, like it when it's kind of on the cooler side so I can still cover up. Right now it's kind of borderline, but I'm wearing this jacket and then a t-shirt, so there's not really a good in-between for me right now. Um, so I was not well prepared for this. Mm -hmm. I think I, you know, I'm actually just enjoying being out here, so if this doesn't make it uh, on YouTube, then it's fine. It wasn't a wasted effort. I've been saying this in a few videos now. Getting a little bit of sun is not the end of the world, even without sunscreen on, because I'm not at risk for skin cancer particularly. That's not something that you should really ever say, but it's the truth. Based on my geography and my family history and my ancestry, skin cancer is not something I need to worry about. Um, I only burned one time and that was when I was in Kenya. So, I know like every dermatologist and all the skincare YouTubers, like including myself, are really gung-ho about sunscreen, but you also need vitamin D. Um, you also need serotonin, which the sun can promote. So 
just make sure that you're not like depressed and holed up in your apartment with all of your blinds drawn shut um, before it's too late. And if you really are going to not get any sunshine, then probably take vitamin D supplements. Um, but you know, you would be better for you to talk to your doctor about that, not me. <laughs> um, but it's just a suggestion, maybe get some blood work done and see what your vitamin D levels are because even before I was wearing sunscreen, I had low vitamin D levels and was recommended to take vitamin D. So now that I get virtually no sunlight, it's really imperative that I take vitamin D, but also monitor my mental health because sunlight can promote serotonin, it can make us feel good, um, and it can also help with sleep cycles because we, as humans, are, um, what's the opposite of nocturnal? Whatever the opposite of that is. Without having sunlight, our body doesn't regulate the production of melatonin as well. And so it might not know when to release it and can maybe throw off your sleep cycle. So I don't know why I'm giving you advice. This is supposed to be about me, but I think this is the only way I feel comfortable talking about this subject. Um, do you like my boat? This is just me like getting used to being out in the sun because I, I love it. I love being outside. I always have since I was a kid, but unfortunately there were some side effects to that and that all could have been curtailed had I been properly informed about the risk of being in the sun and had I taken precautions like wearing sunglasses and sunscreen from a young age but we can't change the past, we can only change the future, sometimes. Yeah, don't be afraid of the sun, wear sunscreen, probably reapply. Depends on your skin tone and how prone you are to burning in terms of your skin cancer risk. That's where the whole Fitzpatrick scale thing came into play. Um, which isn't like the best metric in my opinion because I don't know well, well lots of East Asian people would fit within a you know lower Fitzpatrick skin type like skin type two or three but are not prone to burning in the same way that Caucasian people are so there are some limitations to the Fitzpatrick scale. There's actually a good article written about that. Look it up, because <laughs> I'm probably not gonna link it. This is my, this is the life though. Like just being by the water, being alone, having access to shade too, so I can duck and get a little bit of protection. I'm realizing that this whole thing is just really neurotic, this whole video. I don't have anything to say either. This isn't gonna work. I cannot vlog data back to back like this. Should I just go home now? I don't wanna be home though. I feel like I have more to say. I mean, truthfully, early on in the pandemic, I was really concerned about financial security and I was this is before I did any YouTube videos for skincare and I was realizing how expensive sunscreen was and I wanted to preserve the amount of sunscreen I was I had because I was just like really uncertain about the future of my job and income at the time and maybe it was irrational because may, you know I had a I had the same job and that I work now and but there were some uncertainties around it and I that's kind of why I started drawing the curtains shut because I was like, well, I don't want to waste all of my sunscreen, but I also don't want to get wrinkles. So this is a good compromise. And then I started doing YouTube and I was like, okay, this justifies me using adequate sunscreen because I'm making videos that could eventually generate an income. 
so then I was like, then I started buying a, a lot of sunscreens and reviewing them and I still kept the blind shut for most of the time though. Um, but at least that allowed me to go outside. And yeah, I really like, this is a problem. See, I found all about all this information about uh, skincare from from like Dr. Dre and she is a huge proponent of sunscreen like most dermatologists because I feel like the primary um, ailment they treat is skin cancer. So of course they're going to recommend you err on the side of caution and wear more sunscreen than you probably need if you are a person of color. And that's the thing, these YouTube famous dermatologists probably the majority of their patients are white. Um, but even non-white dermatologists that I've seen on Instagram are really gung-ho about sunscreen. And so I don't know if this is just, it's kind of like the status quo. And so they, um, they see that that's the type of content that works on YouTube. And so that's the type of content that they produce on YouTube. Um, But anyway, the whole thing is just very, it's like all fear centric. All of the stuff around skincare I feel is based on fear and it's because fear is profitable. I'm gonna do a whole video about that, but um, when you tell people that they're in danger and that purchasing something can help them and their family get out of danger, that's a really big incentive for them to buy something that you're offering at whatever price and it's really effective, but unfortunately that's what shows up in skincare online and that's the information I got when I started. And so I was just like afraid. And then of course I actually saw visible signs of sun damage in my eyes. And so all of those came together into me just being a total recluse holed up in my apartment, shut out from the world, no sunlight. I, my sleeping pattern was definitely damaged from that. Um, I had a lot of restless nights, but I was taking vitamin D at least at that point because I had already been recommended on that for a while. Hope that helps someone out there who might feel the same way. Don't be so concerned about aging. I mean, even if you wear sunscreen, you're gonna age. And even if you just wear some sunscreen, like, and you've never worn it before and you're 25 years old and you've been outside every day and so now you're trying to like compensate for that, which is what I did. Um, sorry, I just... Just know that, you know, you're not gonna reverse 25 years of sun damage by shutting your blinds, like, gradually work your way into it. Had I not had a YouTube channel, I probably would have just given up. Um, I feel like that's with anything when people pick up exercise and then they just go all in like they're, or with diets and whatever, if they don't ease their way into it, they're less likely to be successful and skincare is no different and so, just even putting on one application of sunscreen a day, you're making a huge difference and not changing any other behavior. So don't think you have to do everything all at once. I'm gonna go now because I feel uncomfortable still. And I've been pacing back and forth and certainly people have noticed and are probably calling the authorities. So see you later.